Hey y'all, I'm gonna do something really quick today. It's called the discriminant. A discriminant is something that discriminates. A discriminate is not a bad word. Now, it's, it's got this reputation of being, oh, you're discriminating. Well, you should discriminate. When you're choosing a husband or a wife one day, you better discriminate. If you're choosing a pair of shoes, you better discriminate. You know, you look at, look at one thing and look at the other and make a choice based on what you see are different you know, aspects or possibilities or whatever. So anyway, to apply this to Algebra 2, a quadratic equation, as you recall, is this, you know, ax squared plus bx plus c, and then we kind of go through all that. Remember the quadratic formula as well, which is this, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, all right. And when you do uh, the solution to these quadratic equations, uh, basically there are three possibilities. There's three solution types. You probably should just go ahead and write this down. Uh, one possibility is if you have is it, that you have a single real number, one single real number. In other words, if you have a quadratic equation, like let's say eight, 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 uh, x squared plus eight x plus sixteen equals zero, where you're going to look at this and go, oh, I can factor that. X plus four times x plus four equals zero, and you go, ha! The answer is negative four. There's just going to be one answer, and that's all. All right. The other possibility is you have two different real numbers, right? And we've done like tons of these before where we went, you know, x squared plus 7x, uh, you know, well, plus 12 equals 0. You go, oh, I got it, x plus uh, 4 times x plus 3, that equals 0. So my x is negative 4 and negative 3. Of course, we've done ones too where we've actually done the quadratic formula and figured out that it was two, you know, weird fractions with square roots and all that kind of stuff. But we did have two answers, right? So a plus and a minus, whatever the same thing was, all right? The other possibility is that they have two different imaginary numbers, which remember, that looks like kind of like, oh, I got the solution here, you know, it's you know, x is three plus or minus the square root of, you know, I don't know, 37 and then i over two or something like that. In other words, the i makes it two imaginary numbers. So there we go. What we're looking at, this is what they call the discriminant. So today, we don't even have to solve these at all. We're just looking at what's underneath the square root, the b squared minus 4ac. That's all we care about today. So that will tell us uh, what, is, what, what types of answers we're gonna have, okay? Um, and here's how you do this, okay? A single real number means that this, this discriminant is going to be zero the discriminant will be zero. In other words, all this wobbly look underneath there. In other words, you'll have an answer like this, you know, hey, I figured the answer out. It'll be three plus or minus the square root of zero, you know, and that's it. Let's say, for example, okay? Well, that's my answer. Plus or minus the square root of zero. Um, doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, it's still gonna be zero. So my answer is three. There might even be a two down there, it doesn't matter. Plus or minus the square root of zero is still nothing there. Your answer is three over two, you get one answer. So in other words, if the discriminant is zero, you will get one single real number. If you have two different real numbers as, as a, uh, two solutions, then this discriminant will have a positive answer underneath it. In other words, you'll go, oh, look, my answer is three plus or minus the square root of 71 or whatever it is over, you know, two or something like that. If it's a positive answer, you're going to have two answers. And it's a positive number under the radical here, you'll have two answers. Three plus that, and then three minus that. And they're both real numbers because they're on the number line somewhere. All right? The two different imaginary numbers will happen if the number under the, under the discriminant, the, uh, in other words, this value in the, in the uh, square root, under the square root sign, the discriminant is negative, right? So that's all we're doing today is figuring out what kind of answer it's going to be. We're not going to bother to solve these. So let's look at this. Solve using the, the quadratic formula, name the discriminant, what kind of answers, okay? Well, okay, look, we can go ahead and solve it this time. So we'll go ahead and do, again, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so we got negative b, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, that's minus 4, times a, times c, boom, 
all over 2a, and that's going to be 2. Okay. Well, we have then negative 4 plus or minus 16 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16, right? 16 minus 16 is 0. So plus or minus 0, that's it. There are only two answers. Negative 4 divided by 2, excuse me, there's only one answer. Negative 4 divided by 2 is simply negative 2. That's the only answer. Now, if you, if you looked at this and went, I'm going to factor this, then, yeah, you would get this. x plus 2 times x plus 2 is 0. And, of course, that's just one answer. But we proved that the discriminant was 0. 16 minus 16 is 0. That means you get one answer. All right, let's try another one. All right, we'll solve it again. Okay, let's go. Let's do it together. If you want to pause and copy, of course, you can do that. Okay, negative b is negative 5, right? Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a, which is just 1, times c, which is just negative 1, all right, over 2a, which is 2. Okay, so we get negative 5 plus or minus, yoink, 1 minus 4 times negative 1 is the same thing as 1 plus 4. That's going to be 5 here. And there you go. Those, those are your two answers. Since that number under the discriminant was a positive number, you get, as you look back in your notes, two real answers. There you go. Okay? All right? Let's try another one. All right? Pause it. You do this yourself. Go ahead and solve it. You get the, get the answer or answers. Okay? And there's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared. That's 25 minus 4 times a, 1, times b, thunk, there we go, <coughs> all over 2a. And we have negative 5 plus or minus 25 minus 28 is negative 3, right? So, so if we have this, don't forget, that's the same thing as negative 3, or excuse me, the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1, which is by definition i. That goes on the outside, and then we have over 2. Now, the reason why, of course, these are two imaginary solutions because the i. <clears throat> the reason why they're two imaginary solutions is because we have 25 minus 28 is negative 3. We have a negative number under the discriminant that gives us two imaginary answers. So, okay. So what kind of solutions does this have? So let's don't even bother to solve this. Let's make this even easier. All right. Well, first off, we're going to have to put this in order, x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals 0, all right? So we don't even, let's not even bother with the entire thing. Let's just take this part right here. This is the discriminant, right? No need to mess with anything else. So let's just take b squared minus 4ac. Well, b squared minus 4 times a, that's a 1, times c, that's a negative 2, all right? Well, 16 minus, uh, you know, 4 times 1 is 4. Uh, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, so that'll be positive 8. So 16 plus 8 is 24. We don't even need to even do anything else other than say, okay, that's a positive number, so we're going to get two real solutions. That's it. Go to the next one. Okay? And let's go to the next one. Okay, what kind of solutions does this equation have? Don't bother to solve it. Just find a discriminant. All right, let's do it again. Let's move it on over. 3x squared minus 2x plus 8 equals 0. Okay, all we care about is the discriminant. The thing that tells us, the thing that discriminates, it tells us what kind of solutions this quadratic equation is going to have. Well, you tell me. b squared is what? 4, right? Okay, minus 4 times a times c. Well, you can tell right away that that's good. what's this going to be? What kind of number is this going to be right there? You don't even have to do it. You know that's going to be a negative number, right? So if it's a negative number, we know that there are two imaginary solutions. Yep. You can just go on to the next problem. Okay. All right. And let's do A and B. Pause it and come on back and do that. Okay. A will be, again, we're not... All we're doing is just finding the discriminant. We're not solving these. So x squared plus 3x minus 2 is 0. So all we care about is the discriminant. So b squared is 9 minus 4 times a, which is 1, okay, and then times c, 
it's that now you know a negative four times a negative two is a positive eight so nine plus eight seventeen that's going to be two reals two real answer that will be your solution okay all right pause it and try b all right let's rearrange here all right so again we got b squared that's going to be 16 minus 4 times 3 times 3 you can look at this and go, wait a minute, I'm subtracting 4 times 3 times 3. That's, um, that's going to be 16 minus 36. It'll be a negative number. So you have two imaginary solutions. There you go. That's all you need to do. Okay. Okie doke. See you guys next time. Have a great day.